Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I wanted to give you a tour in depth of my new kitchen. I want to go cabinet by cabinet, drawer by drawer, and just kind of share with you my organization for our new home. If you're new here and you haven't heard the backstory, we recently moved to this house. It is a new build. Though we did not design the space, our builder did, but we really love what he did. And it's designed to be sort of a modern farmhouse style with an open concept design. So with that, let's dive into this tour. Here is my kitchen. This is my first time organizing this kitchen, so I'm sure I will make lots of little tweaks along the way, but let's start with the sink. Under the sink is always such a tricky spot to organize and I really wanted my trash can tucked away at this house. I downsized cans in order to fit it here. And next to that, I have my hardworking cleaning rags just in a basket. Next to the rags, I have a basket with my go-to cleaning things and a little box of band-aids. Behind there is my baking soda for cleaning and pressed air and my dishwasher pods. So in this cabinet, I've turned it into like my kids' snacks and bread for sandwiches and we also use tortillas for sandwiches so I'm thinking about getting some containers to hold our different things like pretzels and chips and things in here I just haven't done that yet so in the corner as far as the counter I kind of had a rough time with this spot I've played around with it a lot and here's where I'm at right now we had our internet installed so this is where our router needs to be for the wireless I went ahead and shifted my coffee bar over. I think it's going to work okay. I loved having our coffee bar out at our last house. It's so convenient and it gets used a lot during the day as well. In the vintage yellow canister, we went ahead and organized all the things we need for making coffee and tea. We have the coffee that we use most often on top as well as our filters. And then in the middle is our most used teas. And then the bottom has other teas when we have guests for options. This kind of worked to cover up also where some of the cords are. So I have some display shelves above here with some milk glass pitchers that I've tucked behind and this really pretty decorative pitcher I got from my sister and I have a vintage timer as well as a ball jar for color. This shelf I have this really wonderful vintage painting and I've placed a pear inside a bowl stacked on top of some milk glass plates and they all have that scallop. To raise the pear up so you can see it from down below, I placed it on top of a little bowl upside down and that totally did the trick. On the bottom shelf, I have my favorite little blue pitcher. I love this pitcher. I found it at my local thrift store for a couple dollars. This big pitcher came from my sister and I just love it. The size and the shape, it's perfect for this shelf. And I filled it with some of these faux pom-pom type flowers. They kind of spray out everywhere and I love that look. It's very whimsical. And I have my vintage cookbooks just leaning to the side there. And all together, I love how the yellow on each shelf kind of makes your eye bounce around. It's just very pretty. Above the coffee station is where we keep our coffee mugs very conveniently and our drinking glasses and our everyday dishes. I'm thinking about getting those plate stacker shelves in here as well. So in the small cabinet up above, I've placed some things that we use often but don't always need to pull out and that's our sous vide and our food saver. So going back down below next to the stove, I have our silverware drawer. My silverware organizer from our last house fit perfectly in here. I got that organizer for just 50 cents from a yard sale. I love that hit of turquoise when you open the drawer. So the cabinet underneath at first was kind of tricky, but now I'm really loving how we have it set up. There's like a half shelf on top, and I've used that to store our tea and coffee backups. In the main part of the cupboard, I have our cereal boxes because these are too tall to go in the snack cupboard next door. I'd like to maybe get some shorter containers that would corral these so they don't have to be in this cupboard. This little basket houses our coffee filters and then just some paper napkins when we have guests or for the holidays. So then we have a stove and I've used the bottom drawer as storage which is safe. I did make sure before I went ahead and did that. I have the lids and my husband's barbecue tools and I did put a vintage tea towel down as well. 
Up above our microwave, I have put our little blender and blender accessories. In the high cupboard up above here, I have placed my vintage things. And the green stuff you see inside is actually baby bibs and baby feeding supplies for when we have guests that have babies. To the right of the stove, I've used this cupboard here for spices. Again, this is one I might buy some pieces to help me organize a little better. I have one riser on the top shelf, but maybe you could use another one. We'll see, I'm still playing around, but right now it's just fitting everything we need just fine. The little cupboard above the spices is the most random cupboard in the kitchen. It has my yogurt separator, our emergency candles, it has Play-Doh, it is the most random cupboard, but sometimes you just have those in your kitchen and you go with it. On the counter next to the stove, I have our cooking oils. We have a couple different ones here. Our butter and salt cellar, and then our go-to cooking tools. This is my husband's preference for sure when cooking. I know some people don't like anything out on the counters. For us, we're a little different. We like some things out, especially with all the white in here. It definitely warms it up to have different colors and some warm wood and things out. I have a large drawer next to the stove and in that I have our knives and we have this really great knife organizer. I found that on Amazon and I'll link to that down below. We have some extra cooking things here, a knife sharpener, and we have our uh, oven gloves and oven mitts. Below the large drawer, I actually have all of my pans and our fire extinguisher. We have cast iron and our instant pot, and then our stainless steel are kind of on that half shelf at the back. I have this huge cabinet here that I'm using like a pantry and I've got all sorts of canned goods and rice and oil and just about everything I need is in here. So the remainder of my upper cabinets in here are used for pantry storage. So canned goods and extras for, you know, just having backups for things like applesauce and tuna and all those things that you want to have on hand, especially with poor weather coming on, we really stocked up. Next to the fridge is my little baking area, and this is also a huge cabinet. So I was able to fit all of our flours and sugar, our Crisco, and then oats. We've got our waffle maker, my husband's bread baking baskets, and my recipe books there in the corner. I hung up my measuring cups and spoons again like I did in our old house, and I thought I had five measuring cups, but I actually only have four, so that was my bad. I hung up six hooks, so I have an extra spot for something. <laughs> On the counter below my baking cupboard, we do keep out our KitchenAid. It's used a lot in this house. And then I have my favorite, favorite, favorite bowls here. There's a set of three and I use them sort of like a fruit bowl. I've got bananas in there right now. And I wanted to like lay out all three across here, but it did look like too much. So I've stacked them here instead. So below where I keep the KitchenAid is where I have a lot of our storage where our extra mixing bowls. I do have more storage items, but they're in use right now. I have some of our bigger Ziplocs that I would use for leftovers or things that are going in the freezer here. Things like strainers and cheese graters and stuff that you need for cooking are in this cupboard. I have one more tiny drawer that is in the corner by the fridge and I went back and forth about what to do with this drawer but what I decided is I do really appreciate having a junk drawer. It just helps me so much <laughs> to know where things are in the house. Scissors and pens and pencils and glue sticks and all the things. So this cupboard is the one that if I had designed this kitchen, I probably would have done something different with. It does allow me to have a place to put my tall things, like my tall baking pans and trays and things like that, but it's really kind of tricky to organize. So I may get an organizer for this space. And because I buy things at Costco, my parchment paper and foil and stuff are so long that they don't fit in the drawers. So they are right here for now. So I don't have any fancy organizers or anything in the fridge. It's working just fine putting things where they fit for now. And if I ever change that, I'll let you know. And the same with the freezer drawer. I just kind of have things stacked according to where they fit. 
On the big wall of my kitchen, it's sort of where people have to walk. There's a traffic pattern from the mudroom into the main house. So I didn't want to put too much here, but I definitely needed something to have more drawers. Since I only have three drawers, I went ahead and bought this cute little piece. It has baskets for drawers, and this is where I'm putting my nice towels and my dishcloths. And what I do for dishcloths is I just buy a pack of washcloths from Walmart. They work really well, and they're really affordable. I also have my vintage step stool here. I love this piece. I found this at a rummage sale for just a couple dollars. I love displaying my aprons. Many of these are very, very sentimental. Next to the aprons, I hung this very sentimental piece. I made this from a cutting board we removed from the kitchen at our first house, and I kept this cutting board and stenciled onto it by my wandering heart to me. For a kitchen rug, I used this jute rug. I found this on Amazon, and this was actually in the laundry space at my last house. I don't know if I'll go with something smaller eventually, but right now I just have this. And on the other side of the kitchen sink is where I have our little bar stools. I found these on Marketplace, and they just fit perfect here, and there's one for each kiddo. This may be my most favorite dishwasher that I've ever had. It pops open when it's the dry cycle, and when it's all done, it'll sing. So I'll show that to you guys when it's time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a tour of my kitchen and seeing how I've organized it and set it up in our new house. I have lots of plans to continue sort of tweaking and organizing it, so I hope you'll hit that red subscribe button and stick around and come on this journey of making this house a home. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care, and I'll be back with more soon.